Hey, what's happening guys? Since I got such a huge response on the how to clean and retin your soldering iron video, I thought we'd go a little further or something, kind of carry along the same lines. And of course, as soon as I start talking, a train decides to come by. So before we get into this, a little business. A lot of new subscribers lately. So I'm gonna try and answer some of your questions real quick. My name's Paul. I'm an electrical engineer. I have congestive heart failure. That's why my hands are swollen. My feet are swollen too, but I'm not going to show you my feet. I know they're swollen. I know I have fat fingers. Now that we cover that, we don't need to discuss it anymore. Okay, so today we're talking about splicing wires. And the reason we're talking about that is because in a lab at school recently, I have seen way too much of this and this makes me crazy this is not strong look at that little pool and it's almost completely apart another pool and it's done that's not how you splice wires we're going to talk about the right way to splice wires okay we are going to do the nasa splice it's also called alignment splice, but we're going to do it to NASA standards. So we have two pieces of wire that we need to join together. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring them over so that they kind of cross each other like that. Then we're going to twist that around there and we're going to twist that around there. That's the basics of it. But to make this up to NASA standards, and it is a standard, it is listed in their manual, NASA standard 8739.4 on page 84, the proper way to do a splice. Number one, all our connections must be pre-tinned. Number two, there must be three turns of wire. Number three, no gaps. Number four, no overlap. Number five, everything must be wet with solder. And number six, a solder fill, fillet, 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 whatever you want to call it, must cover the entire joint. So, that being said, here is some 22 gauge solid core wire. And I have stripped it and tinned it. This is about two inches, about what's that, 50 millimeters or so. So you want to come about two thirds up the length of the wire and these are going to have to be even and you give a twist and a twist and then we're just going to come down here and make all our twists at least three just like this Once that's done, you're going to take a pair of flush cutters and you're going to get in there and knock off those ends so that nothing is sticking out. Now that is going to be a tight joint. The next step is to solder it. So I've got my 6040 leaded solder, a clean iron. And you're just going to touch the solder to the iron. Just put a little dot of it on there to help with thermal transfer. Touch the iron to the wire. Touch the solder to the other side of the wire. Let the capillary action pull it in. That's it. You see how you can still see the turns of the wire the solder fillet covers everything. Our next step, heat shrink. We want to make sure we have enough heat shrink to cover the entire joint. We get that on there like that. Now the proper way to use heat shrink is with a heat gun. I don't have one here. 
so the lighter will have to do for us today. Don't put the heat shrink in the flame. This is about an inch above the flame. Just let the heat do the work, not the flame. Now that is a tight joint that you can yank on and jerk on and it is not going to come undone. That is a proper wire soldered, spliced to NASA standards. That being said, if you can avoid doing a splice, that is always the best thing. Go back to the terminals, take the wire off there, and replace it. But sometimes you can't, and if you can't, this is the proper way to do it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe. Please check out the Patreon page. If you can pledge a dollar, God bless you. Because YouTube is killing us small creators. Anyway, that's it. Thanks to all the guys that are patrons. I really appreciate it. I'm out. Peace.